hello and welcome to my youtube channel and to code hope you guys are doing great so in today's video we are going to cover the concept of the variable initialization and declaration so let's get started and before starting the video i request you guys to please subscribe the youtube channel learn to code and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from the youtube channel learn to code so <coughs> So you just need to create a new source file. You have to open the compiler first. After opening the compiler, you just need to create a new source file. In the source file, you just need to add some header files. So in my case, hash include input output stream hash include conio dot h. Then using namespace. std integer of the main item characters now i have declared and i have created a program structure with the header files if you haven't want the watch the previous video then i recommend you guys that you must watch the previous videos first so that you can understand that how the things are working in c++ and how can you get the stuff and how can you work with the c++ language so now there are two concept in the variable when you have created a variable so it must be declared and it must be initialized so when i use the word and so it means that there are two steps the first step is that you must declare a variable first first the variable is declared and then the variable is initialized so what what really is the uh, difference between the initialization and the declaration so the declaration is referred as <coughs> declaration is referred as to assign data type type and variable name when you assign any kind of data type and a variable name that it this process is referred as declaration and after that initialization assign value to the variable this process is referred as initialization so declaration and initialization so now <coughs> first we need to declare any kind of variable in the last video we have read out all the limitations that how can we declare a uh, how can we name a variable so for the declaration first we need to choose a data type so in my case i am going to declare a variable where data type integer now in the integer what should be a variable name i will say that the variable name will be a number in number okay now in this line you can see that i have declared declared the variable and after that whenever i want to initialize this variable i just need to assign any kind of variable uh, any kind of value to the variable so in the next line you just need to assign any kind of vari value so i am going to assign 55 so now i can say that i have declared the variable in the line number 8 and now i am going to initialize the variable and now i am going to initialize initialize the variable in this line and you can also declare and initialize the variable in same line so what will be that scenario it will be int number and then you can assign any kind of value now the variable is declared as well as initialized 
now for checking purpose you can console output the value number now you can f11 the thing now you can save the thing f11 you can see 90 is declared on the scope so that's how you can declare initialize the variable and that's all from today's video and hope you guys like the video and if you like the video then do subscribe to the youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from the youtube channel thank you